This is Ordinarius Iovitus, born to his mater and pater in the capital city of Rome at the height of the Roman Empire. His parents are wealthy citizens living in the lavish neighborhoods away from the crowded and dirty suburba. His house is large and comfortable, with running water and many slaves to attend to his and his family's needs. Ordinarius spends his childhood watching his parents and learning from their daily activities. As he grows up, he attends classes with a tutor, while his sisters learn how to manage the household. Girls would not have had the same opportunities as boys growing up in Rome, and were expected to become wives or mothers. When Ordinarius reaches adulthood, his parents arrange for him to marry the young daughter of another wealthy family. The ceremony takes place sine manu, so that the bride may remain a part of his father's family, without passing entirely under the control of her new husband. The new couple moves into their own house, but remains close to both of their families in Rome. They soon bear a child of their own, a son. While his wife takes over managing their house and slaves, Ordinarius decides to begin the difficult climb of the Cursus Honorum in order to become a Roman senator. Before he can begin, he must serve ten years in the Roman army. He says goodbye to his wife and son and heads off to war to pillage and plunder the Scottish villages in the name of the Roman army. Ten years soon pass. When Ordinarius returns, he is 30 years old and eligible for the post of Quaestor. However, his military duty has worn on him, and he decides to pursue patronage instead, using the money he acquired in his service. His wealth allows him to provide for poor Romans who in turn pledge their support. Life for Ordinarius is fairly routine. He rises early and is greeted by his clients. He may assign them tasks or give them gifts of food or money. Then he makes his way to the Roman baths to relax or exercise, while his slaves purchase the food and goods from the forum needed to keep his household in order. He might attend the Roman games held by the emperor, observe gladiator fights, or take a trip to his country villa. However, like most Romans, Ordinarius does not live a long life. At the age of 60, he passes away and is buried in his family tomb. His wife commissions a tombstone describing his military service and patronage, so that the achievements of Ordinarius Uyoitus could be remembered for all of time. <laughs>